Peace family, this is Dr. Jahi Issa coming to you live, a.k.a. E-41, right? A lot of people ask me where I get that name from. Well, <laughs> for the last decade or so, people have been calling me E-40, <laughs> my students at the university. So um, someone in the chat room named me E-41, and I said, ah, since I can't use the name E-40, I guess I'll use the word, the name E41 and say I'm sprinkling you with knowledge, right? So <clears throat> today I'm just going to talk to you briefly for a few minutes about going to Ghana, going to my trip in March and in August to West Africa. <clears throat> over the last 20 years I've made well over two do dozen trips to West Africa, two dozen trips. Um, I've married there. I've born children there. I've also made several trips to North Africa, including two to Kemet, where I studied for about six weeks there, and another trip to um, Ethiopia. I've also been to Morocco for all of those Moors. I would always tell all my Moors brothers, brothers and sisters that if you're really serious about being a Moor, then try to open up diplomatic relationships with the Moroccan embassy in your home um, country. If it's the United States, they have an embassy right in um, New York and in Washington, D.C. Um, but for those of us who are really interested in going to Ghana, the first thing you're going to need, outside of money, because it is going to cost money, it's not cheap to go. We're talking about between um, $2,800 and $3,400 for a 10-day trip. You're going to need a passport. One brother emailed me and asked me, um, this is my U.S. passport. One brother asked me, if you have a felony, can you have a passport? Can you get a passport? Yes, you can, as long as you're not on probation, right? Um, the, the, the trips that we're going to go, it's going to be an exciting trip, right? And starting the end of the month, we're going to start asking for deposits, just pay attention to the, um, our first deposit will be due at the end of the month um, if you're interested in going, okay? Um, for those who are interested in the March trip, of course, that's on a short notice and only a few people may be, be, be able to attend that trip. But the August trip, yes, we got to start paying on it um, so that I'll know that you're serious. I made too many trips and people... A lot of people, about 90% of the people who say they want to go end up um, um, for various reasons backing out, right? So we are going to have to ask for deposits so that we can start pre making um, the necessary arrangements. Also, for this trip to West Africa, unlike a lot of other trips, because of my natural understanding of the terrain in West Africa, not only am I going to show you the quote-unquote tourist things that a lot of people see in West Africa, I'm also going to show you the cultural things that you won't see and that sometimes even the indigenous people of these countries that I'm going to take you to, they'll never show you, right? I know for a lot of African Americans, we want to know what happened to us. How did we end up in the way that we're in now? How did we end up in the slave trade? Did Africans really enslave us and sell us? Or was this solely a thing of Europeans? Right? And what role did the Arabs play? You'll be shocked that there are communities in West Africa today, I know that I've seen them, who were caught up in the slave trade at the turn of the 19th century. And at the beginning of the 19th century, and never made it back to their prospective homes. And to this day, they are seeking to return back to the communities that they were stolen from in Central and West Africa. And many of these communities still exist in West Africa. I mean, people who were not sold away across the waters, people who were stolen from their communities and were on their way to be taken away. And they were prevented from doing so, and they set up these communities. They're still there, many of them. They're still there. 
So it not only affected Africans in the diaspora, like the United States and the Caribbeans and the West Indies and South America, but it affected Africa. And it still has an effect on Africa. And this is why I always passionately speak on this issue. Okay, so I'm really only interested in those who want to go to Africa. If you want to go, hit me up in the inbox, my Facebook Messenger, and I will give you more details. In a few days, I will have more information about this trip to West Africa. Um, if you have any questions, um, send them to me in my Facebook Messenger, and I will answer those questions. Um, as I learn this new technology, this exciting new technology that is transforming the world, just be patient with me. I'm going to make more videos um, and share, subscribe, ask other people to subscribe and hit that little bell, you know, and I'm going to give you some unadulterated information, all right? This is Dr. Jahi, e, Jahi Isa, a.k.a. E41. Peace.